on removing Pier 58 near the Great Wheel. Before and after photos from a neighbor show just how much of it is now underwater. King 5's Tony Black is live on the waterfront tonight with the latest on what happened. Tony. Good evening to you, Jessica. Yeah, this pier was actually already scheduled to be demolished as part of the larger waterfront remodel that was going on. But then crews found some separation from that pier from the walls here, and that forced its early closure back in August. Now, officials say today's collapse, even though they were anticipating that it could happen, still caught them a little bit by surprise. We had a partial collapse of Pier 58. Marshall Foster from SDOT says two workers were hurt after a part of the closed Pier 58 they were taking apart sank around 4 p.m. Sunday. The two individuals um, who were doing saw cutting on the pier at the time did go into the water. A spokesperson for Harborview says the two men are in stable satisfactory condition. Both men were pulled out of the water before aid arrived. Foster says crews noticed the pier had shifted again last week and we're working with the assumption it could collapse. There's a series of planters that uh, surrounded the Fitzgerald Fountain, which used to sit right there, and they were saw cutting around uh, those concrete planters because literally within about 15 minutes of the collapse, we had planned to remove a very heavy portion of the pier. Crews will now have to figure out how to get the part of the pier that sank out of the water before their demolition work can continue. I just heard this really loud, forceful thunk. Shannon Dice lives nearby and pulled out his camera to record the immediate aftermath. And I looked at the dock down there and I don't know, maybe half of the dock just just dropped into the ocean. He and his wife have been watching crews work over the past weeks and shared these before and after photos where you can see which part of the pier collapsed. The first several minutes of it, I, my wife and I were communicating with wide eyed like this was serious and I personally was concerned for sure. For their safety and um, so it actually was quite quite a relief there was the gentleman that was on the sidewalk you could tell he was moving and he was talking and certainly things could have been a lot worse you know this area is already closed off to the public so there is no concern there officials also did mention that this did not do any damage to the nearby aquarium or miners landing which is right next to it for now right here on the pier i am tony black king five news tony thank you now to the latest on the unhealthy